So hello and welcome back to another session where we can enjoy the relaxed learning state known as hypnosis. And because we have chosen to take this time for ourselves, we find it easy to relax, breathing deeply and naturally, exhaling fully, and allowing the tensions and cares of the day to begin to flow from the top of our head down through our neck breathing deeply and naturally allowing the tension to continue to flow through our shoulders and into our chest down through our abdomen into our pelvis breathing deeply and allowing the tension to continue to leave our body through our thighs down our calves and out through the bottoms of our feet and because we want to go deeper we continue counting down from five to one five feeling very comfortable four feeling our arms hang loosely at our sides three breathing deeply two enjoying this serene experience one we are deeper deeper than before enjoying this relaxed state and now that we are deeply relaxed feeling comfortable we can turn our attention to the question before us which is the notion of positive expectation and you can smile remembering what it was like to be a child on Christmas morning indeed throughout the entire Christmas season knowing that you would be rewarded for your good behavior and simply because you are a beautiful child and the really magical thing about Christmas is how our expectation matched our experience we always receive something delightful and our belief and expectation was rewarded because we had faith we had faith that good things would come to us and we enjoyed the experience of the toys and treats themselves but also the acknowledgement that having faith and positive expectation was really an excellent way to live and you may be able to remember other times from your life perhaps also from childhood when your positive expectation was matched with the reality of receiving good news or good things or good feelings from those around you and this two-step process positive expectation matched with positive reward clearly builds on itself and we used to be able to go from believing to achieving and realizing that our faith was rewarded and now that we are no longer children we understand that hard work must be added to the mix of positive expectation because we have clearly seen many times in our lives when the combination of positive expectancy and hard work resulted in achieving our desire and this adds a wonderful element 
to the formula because we now know that positive expectancy combined with our effort truly does lead to good rewards. And this becomes the area of control that we have in our hands and in our ability the capacity to realize our positive results that began when we started dreaming of them and believing in them. And this aspect of the formula is truly a bolster to your confidence because you know all you have to do is start with faith, add effort, and you will achieve your results. And as in the case of childhood, we know that positive expectation is completely natural and it feels good in itself because it makes going through the day so much more enjoyable where you are looking forward to your next activity, the next person you're going to meet because having positive expectation means that you are moving forward and open to the world. And this may bring a smile to your face, starting with a quality from childhood that you can easily recapture and adding the knowledge and hard work of adulthood into the formula, you are literally reuniting the innocent part of yourself with the one who lives in the real world, the world of today, and you have positive expectation because you know that all you have to do is take a few minutes to reconnect with that feeling from childhood that things are good that things will work out and that the world is friendly and this is a fun thing to recapture because it brightens our mood and makes us want to get to work and do the things that are necessary to make our goals a reality and so you can right now remember a time from childhood when you had that positive expectation, that delight in being alive and knowing that good things were coming your way, all you had to do was believe. And now that we have reconnected with this childhood innocence, now is a great time to rejoin the world with our adult selves who understand that adding some effort and ability to that innocence is a wonderful way to live where you are literally becoming a 360 degree human being who brings everything to the table your delight your innocence and your work counting up now from one to five we can rejoin the world with this innocence intact. One, smiling broadly. Two, feeling good. Three, our eyes begin to flutter. Four, we straighten our shoulders. Five, eyes open, wide awake, feeling good and infused with the childhood innocence that positive expectation matched with effort will indeed bring us the things we desire. 